So for today, we're going to be looking at what shaders 801 is offering for this week. And we're also going to be looking at the armor she is selling. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it. But other than that, let's look at the uh, actual stuff. So for the first one, we're going to be looking at Vitrified Duality. This is a really, really good shader. I really like this blue color on the cloth. This is the main color, considering that the off color would most likely be this white right here. The off color for the plate armor would most likely be this right here, because that's usually what the off color is, which would be like a tannish brown, which is pretty cool. Definitely a cool shader. This is from Season of Dawn. So this is, this is old. This is like two, three years ago, somewhere around there. It's really old now. So definitely pick this shader up. We have an even older shader, Tangled Rust which is a really good shader if you want to go for like a rustic look. I usually use Tangled Rust if I'm going for like, uh, if like my guardian has been like through the muck, like has lived a lot of lives. I've made a set with this for my Titan, I think. If I have the video up uh, right now, then that's the one it is. But I am trying to remember which video it was because again, I've done so many fashion videos at this point that I just don't remember all of them. Uh, next one is going to be a new one, New Monarchy Succession. At least it's new for me because I haven't, I didn't get this. And it's a really cool shader. Uh, very, very red though. So uh, it's New Monarchy, not surprised, but it is very red. So just be aware of that. Super cool though, because the off color is like white, which is really weird. But yeah, definitely pick the shader up if you don't have it because this is from, oh my God, this is from Curse of Osiris, one of the worst DLCs we've ever had. But it did have some dope ass shaders, so definitely pick that one up. For the armor pit, armor sets, I should say, uh, this is the OG armor from D1. This is some of the dopest armor in the game, especially if you were uh, like trying to do like an iconic look for your guardian. Because the hunters, the helmet, chest piece, cloak, arms, all super dope. I personally don't like the boots. Um, well, I do like them and I don't like them. I like them because how aesthetically how they look, but I don't like them because they look weird on pretty much everything I combine it with or damn near everything. But the arms are super cool if you want to go for like a very simplistic look. Chess piece is like iconic hunter for me. Like that's the chess piece I think about when I think about a hunter. And the gas mask helmet is super dope if you want to do something that's really, really cool with it. Uh, let me look at the warlock and titan real quick because I don't remember them off the top. I do remember them, but I don't want to like go off memory and then think about something that's not there so we're just gonna look at this real quick uh for you guys you guys will just be looking at all of the armor so ignore me uh prodigal suit is super dope i like the helmet the helmet is definitely usable and you can definitely use it um other than that i think the arms are too small i think the chest piece is too small i think the boots are very usable definitely dope but i do think the uh vaults of glass boots are a little bit better than this one and the mark is very basic, so you can use it for like some other basic stuff. But for me, I think just the arms and the chest piece are a little too small. That being said, you could definitely use them for like, I don't know, like maybe you have like a small Titan look that you want to go for. Then you're definitely going to want to use the arms and the chest piece because they are going to facilitate that a lot better. For the Warlocks, we're going to be looking at the Prodigal suit. Well, they're all Prodigal. I don't know why I keep saying this. Uh, the helmet, super dope. The chest piece, super dope. I think the arms are, and the arms and the boots are like very simple, but not in a bad way. It's just like, it is what it is, I guess. Um, and then the bond is very boring for me. So like, I would definitely be picking up, uh, most of the helmets for everyone, but then I would branch off for like the hunter. I would probably pick everything except the boots, the Titan. I would probably pick up, uh, everything. I think everything just looks super dope. Um, and then the warlock, I would probably just pick up the helmet and the chest piece and then maybe the boots because the boots do look really cool in certain sets and the arms, uh, it, it is a good set if you want to have like armor because it does have armor there. It's just for me, it's, it does look kind of boring at times. So for me, I think just the chest piece, uh, for the warlocks would be the best one and the helmet as well. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really happy that they gave her shaders. I just wish they gave her more. I, I say this all the time, but uh, more shaders and probably one more armor set that she would sell would be really, really cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys are picking up. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. Thank you guys for all of the constant support. I really do appreciate it. The channel has been fucking blowing up and it's all because of you guys because you guys keep watching the content. Uh, tell your friends, subscribe. All that really does help. And other than that, I will see you guys later.